Underneath the sequence settings, there's this one here, selection follows playhead. If that's ticked, then as you move your playhead around, it immediately selects the clip underneath the playhead, which I find incredibly useful. I mean, it originally came in because when you're doing color correction, you'd want to actually make sure the clip is selected so you can start correcting it. But I use it an awful lot all of the time because you know I can just bung it there and the clip is actually selected. If you've got a clip on a different track, it'll select the clip that's got the track highlight. So if V2 is highlight, then it's gonna select that. If V1 is highlight and V2 isn't, it'll select the one that's on V1 and not the one on V2. Then nice little shortcut, which actually saves me quite a bit of time. As I'm dragging around here, you can hear the sound of the timeline as I'm scrubbing through the timeline. Well, in Premiere Pro CC, it tries to maintain the audio pitch. Whereas if you listen to the same thing in CS6, you can hear here the audio pitch is changing. If you move through a clip faster, normally things get higher pitched. If you move through it slower, it gets lower pitched. In CC, it's just slightly nicer because you can hear the sound better as you're scrubbing. There's lots of other little changes in the timeline, so let's run through a few more of those. You know, there's loads of ways, if I'm dragging a clip and putting it on here, where it snaps to the joins. If you have snapping selected, which is this one, it'll snap to the end of the clip. If you're moving it around, it'll snap to the playhead. But what it never did was snap to the joins. You know, if I want to stick the playhead exactly on that join, and I'm this zoomed out, I couldn't be entirely sure that it had actually snapped to it. I mean, the solution was always hold down on the shift key and drag and it will snap. But I wanted that to be a permanent preference. I wanted it to snap to the joins all the time. Again, they added a preference, which I like. Snap playhead in timeline when snap is enabled. So in other words, if you've got snap on, it'll snap to the joins, which I like. I can always override it by holding down on shift, but I like to have that one on. Nice preference they added in. If you take a clip and you move it, you put the video out of sync with the audio, Premiere gives you these nice little indicators to tell you that they're out of sync. It does that because the clips are linked together. If I come back to this, it selects the audio and the video. Well, you can always unlink clips. So if I right click on them and unlink them, those two are no longer linked together. They belong together because the audio and the video should sync up. But now you don't know that, except again, they've added a preference. And the preference says display out of sync indicators for unlinked clips. So if I do that, it actually tells me that those two clips, even though they're not linked up anymore, it still knows they should be synced up and it still tells me they're out of sync. Again, nice, simple little addition. If you chop a clip in half, let's take another clip, put it on the timeline, chop it in half. Those two clips are exactly the same and it just flows from one to the other. Although I've chopped them up, I haven't actually trimmed anything. It's called a through edit. Well, there's now a thing to show you through edits, make it more obvious. So now you can tell that those two actually do belong together and you can even join them back together. And the way to join a through edit is to go down to the join here, right click on it and here you can see the option to join the through edit, which just stitches them back together.